Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick demo of the integration of uh, Power Apps with uh, Microsoft uh, Cognitive Services. And in this one, I'm focusing only on Vision. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and built a Power App, um, and in the Power App, I built a uh, one of the connections, which was connection with the Computer Vision API. Um, and then I built a custom workflow and then in that workflow I was able to add the images. The images were um, analyzed by the uh, cognitive services and then given me the information I needed. So uh, for the sake of this example I've broken it down into three separate parts and we'll uh, go ahead and go through each of them. One is uh, analyze an image. So let's uh, go through that. Um, because I'm running this on my local machine, I'm going to actually uh, get the images from my um, laptop. But you can, if you're using it from a mobile device, then you can even take a picture of that. Um, so let's do the first one. I want to analyze this image. And let's see what the cognitive services comes back with. So that's pretty good. So this is a gave me the exact name, it's Sean Connery holding a glass of wine, and then its accuracy is 0.88 or um, 89% or 88%, and then it also gives me all these tags, right, and it's pretty accurate, see, it's this person, it's indoor, man, table, wine, sitting, holding glasses, and so on and so forth. Um, the other thing I did was, because of my flow, um, I'm able to take that image, see, it was a brand new image, I uploaded it to my images library, and that um, information that we all got, Sean Connery holding a glass, I went ahead and saved it to a list. Um, and then I have a thumbnail over here as well. So let's continue with the testing and now do an OCR test, object character recognition. And in that case, uh, let's let's pick this one over here. Okay, so that's a, it's a good image. Let's see if the scan can actually pick up all the text. Not bad, not bad at all. It gave me the exact same te uh, text that I have over here, and I broke it down. Um, so based again on the flow, I should see the image stored as a thumbnail over here. There it is. Um, and now um, I should also see the text. And this is in a multiple line um, column. So it's actually now taken that image, transferred that into text, and automatically saved it to a list for me. Um, so let's continue and keep going. Let's clear that. Celebrities and landmarks. So, um, big, big, by the way, the flow was works in the back end. Uh, it was best to actually break it down into two separate options. That's why I created this radio button. So let's do the first one with celebrities. So I'll go ahead and select that. And let's do this one. Scan it. is Morgan Freeman and it is a hundred percent accurate so that's that's pretty impressive so let me clear that ah I did that as a landmark let's see actually let's see what comes what it comes back with maybe it's just an error oh, nothing so let's pick let's do that let's scan that and I specifically picked the landmark Still scanning. I came up with a 99.99% uh, accuracy, and it is a Coliseum. Um, so, I hope you guys saw that this was a really great um, uh, demonstration of the power of the integration between Power Apps and the cognitive services, which is Vision. So one of the neat things you can do is um, if you want to take any of these images and start um, profiling them or you know categorizing them, you don't have to do that manually. You can just take the picture through um, with, with, the, with the smartphone or just upload them and, and do it through this app. And now you can categorize it automatically. Um, even a neat thing is uh, for categorizing, um, you can even tag it. So that can even help you with future search um, and things like that. So once again, um, this demonstration was the integration of Power Apps with uh, Cognitive Services, and hope you guys enjoyed it.